Hey everyone, it's Ann here and it's Monday night and I am excited to be with you. I'm popping on a few minutes early so Facebook can let you know that I've gone live and so that I can check my settings and make sure that everything looks good at my end. So if you're here, say hi and if you're definitely watching on the replay, please let me know you're watching. And if you happen to be watching over my YouTube or blog, please let me know you watch. Leave me a comment, give me a like so we know that you are watching. So can you believe this? We are on week number 19. We have been crafting together for 19 weeks and I'm so excited. And I have no plans on ending my crafting sessions with you anytime soon. We will continue through the warmer months and you can, if you're not available, you can always catch me on the replay. So as you know, my name is Ann Granger and I am an independent demonstrator here in Canada and I am excited to be with you tonight. Tonight I have a fun project share showcasing our new April's Paper Pumpkin Kit. We will be making an alternative, so I'm excited to share that project with you. Um, as you know, I go live every Monday night in, our, in my crafting group, uh, in my Stamp With Ann group, and the reason why I go live in that group and not on my page is because it um, lets you the notifications. We're on a page that's all about algorithms. So if you're joining me, say hello. If you're watching on the replay, please let me know you're watching on the replay. And you can always follow me on my blog, which is www.stampwithann. Um, dot com and you can catch me on Facebook I mean on Facebook Pinterest and Instagram um, I know I haven't been posting the last little bit but trust me I'm getting back in that routine um, as many of you know maybe you don't I work in the education system here in Ontario and we've just flipped back to online learning so it's a whole mental shift of you got to get that process of getting used to that so we're I'm finally in week two I feel like I got a groove going on so watch for me for more things coming your way from me so thank you for being patient I really do appreciate it so as you know, my Monday night crafting sessions will always be on my blog. You can also follow them on my YouTube. So if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe so you can follow along with me. Um, please like, comment, and share, and invite your friends into our crafting group. We love to craft. The more we can craft, the happier our community is. And right now, we all need that ray of sunshine, and we love, we're missing crafting with friends, and this is a great way to connect with your friends weekly. You can chat with them and craft with them, and it's just a great big party is how I look at it. Um, so we are going to flip the camera. I have some few announcements to make for you and then we will get started on our Monday night project. So I'm going to cover up the camera and we are going to get started. So just give me a minute. All right, I think we have uh flip the camera and I'm just checking my 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 view to make sure everything looks great. So if someone can, if it's on with me and they can give me a thumbs up or a thumbs however it looks, that will be great. And if you're not and you're watching on the replay, I'm happy that you're joining us. So just a few reminders for you before we actually get started with our paper pumpkin alternative tonight is I want to remind you that we are in the last week of April. Can you believe that? I can't even believe that next week is, like Saturday is May 1st. I am um, sitting here in my front room and looking out my window and I have my bird feeders up. I have my Oreo feeder and my hummingbird feeder. I'm hoping that I'll see some birds in this week. And I can start to see the buds come out on my bushes and my trees. And it just makes me happy just looking out the new sense of hope that is coming our way. So just a reminder, if you place an order in the month of April and you use this hostess code, you will get these new beautiful gems. They are from our annual catalog, so I will be ordering them next week. This catalog, our new annual catalog goes live on May 4th. Um, and then once I will order them and ship them out to you. So it'll be like mid-May by the time they come in and get back out to you. Just a reminder about my In Color Club. Um, if you would love our new in colors, which is the Fresh Freesia, Polish Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya, you are going to want to get in on our in color club. Buying all those products together at once is a lot of money. And what a great way to budget. And each month it'll be a surprise in your mail or a porch pickup. And you'll get a pack of, you're going to get a pack of the cardstock, a bolt of the open reeve ribbon ink pad, refill, stamp rate markers, the in color jewels, the stamp and blends, 6x6 DSP, 
uh, two 6x6 six six in color volume, four gift bags, and a hand stamp card featuring your cards this month. So my goal this week is to sit down and create some um, in color card samples for you. So I'm excited to share that with you. So watch for that. If you want more information, you'll find it on my blog. I'm gonna do a reminder this week. And we will be starting in May, so I hope you will join us. All right, so let me just move some stuff. I also wanted to remind you that this is the last week for our annual catalog 2020. Um, it retires on May 3rd, so there's lots of still great products on sale. Some of those products are up to 75% off. That is right, 75% off. That is a steal of the deal. And you want to get these before they retire. So this catalog is actually done on May 3rd. So you have those um, products that are available. Some things have sold out, but there's still a lot of great products. So grab your, your catalog, check your shopping list, and make sure you've got what you wanted before they can't retire, because you don't want to miss out on them. The next thing I want to share with you is a copy of our annual catalog, our new 2020, 2021. This catalog is net, will be available May 4th. I have tons of catalogs on hand. If you're on my mailing list, your catalog went in the mail last week. Uh, so the post office told me about a week and a bit, so I'm hoping you guys will start receiving them this week. If you need a copy, let me know. I can either pop it in the mail or you can do a porch pickup. And if you're not on my mailing list, please subscribe to my mailing list. You'll find that link underneath this video once I upload it to YouTube. Um, and join our, that's where you find out what's happening in my studio. So there you go. It's a great catalog. I wish I could show you the inside but I can't show you yet, so it is coming next week. Next week we'll get to show you, so exciting, exciting. All right, so what I wanna share with you tonight is our paper pumpkin kit. So this is our paper pumpkin kit. It's a monthly kit that comes to your door. Um, I forget the price, I think it's 30 something, 30.95. So you have the option of choosing what kit you would like to purchase. So Stampin' Up! has been doing a really great job of giving us a sneak peek of what the catalog looks like. And then um, a sneak peek of what the um, new kit looks like. And then you have till the 10th of the month. So if you subscribe by May 10th, you're going to get the May kit. If you subscribe May 20th, you're going to get the June kit. So I know a lot of us are probably avid crafters on my group or casual caster crafters and they probably have this paper pumpkin and they probably already put the kit together. So I wanted to show you like what it looked like in case you were a new subscriber to paper pumpkin. So you always get a stamp set. How cool is that? And you always get a stamp and spot. And it's usually the color you would need in your kit. Plus they always give you a flyer. So this month's kit is called So Cool and it actually coordinates back to our Ice Cream Corner Designer Series paper that is in our January to June and along with our ice cream suite. So great there and it comes all nicely wrapped up. And then as you unravel it, you see you have this beautiful package with all the projects. So in this package, you are actually making uh, three, six, nine, 12 cards, and you get 12 envelopes. So what I did was, when I sat down to create this, my project for this, this tonight, I actually went ahead, and let me just move this out of the way, and showed you, I created the projects, because I wanted you to see what they looked like. So here is the one, and you get all these adorable envelopes. So here is the watermelons. Look how cute those are. Now, if you're new to Paper Pumpkin, you can find tons of inspiration for Paper Pumpkin on Pinterest. You can also follow, pin, um, they have a Pinterest board. They also have, you can search by the kits. You can go to their fan page. There is so many alternatives out there. It is crazy. I'm starting to see a lot of alternatives for this month's kit. And I thought, you know what? We all know how to put these together, but I wanted to show you an alternative way of what to do with the stamp sets once you were done. So as I said, you get three, you make three of these cute cards, and then it comes with these envelopes. You make three of these cards. How cute are those? Those would be fun to just to pop in the mail to somebody, this, you know, to let them know you're thinking of them. This one, you're so cool. Those would be great for kids, kids cards. Or if you have a you know a child at home and you're looking for something to them to do while we're all going through this uh, crazy stage of life right now, 
this would be a great kit for them. And then there's the um, watermelons, which I love. Watermelons are one of my favorite fruit. Okay, so let's share what we're doing tonight. And I'm going to actually um, not share my project quite yet because we're going to create it together. So what you need is I am using the new Fresh Freesia Design um, cardstock. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. You have a piece of cardstock that is three by five and a half. I am using the ice cream paper from the January to June mini catalog. It is two and three quarters by five and a half. So as I said, the, this kit coordinates with that ice cream suite that is in our January to June mini catalog. And that catalog is done at the end of June. So they have that, and then you needed three squares. Uh-oh, where's my other square? I think it's in my bucket. I have a bucket with all of my products in it that I need. You need three squares that are one and three quarters by one and three quarters, and then I'm actually using the banner from one of the die cuts that came in our March kit, because I wanted to show you guys how to use that. So let's get started. I'm gonna grab my stamp set. And I just need to grab a few blends here. Let me just grab them. I forgot to grab them out of my... So we are using crumb cake, fresh freesia, and blackberry bliss. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adhere. I'm just going to move this all out of my way, and we'll pull them in as we need them. So the first thing we're going to do is adhere our pattern paper. To our cardstock. As I said, this pattern paper is from our January to June catalog and it's the ice cream suite. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some twine or ribbon, whatever you prefer and have on hand, and you're going to wrap it around your cardstock just like that. And then you're just going to, I never, uh, if you follow me on my Facebook lives or been in my classes or my online classes, you know, I never pull my ribbon off my twine or my ribbon roll. I actually wrap it around that way. All right. So we can actually go ahead. Actually, no, we're just going to leave that the way it is for right now. I'm going to grab my stamping mat and I'm going to grab in a new piece of paper. And I'm going to grab, grab in my three little squares. So as I told you, the three squares are one and three quarters by one and three quarters. Now we're going to use the adorable stamp set that came with the paper pumpkin and we're going to use this lollipop. And we'll call it the lollipop. And we're gonna put it on a clear black. So this, our paper pumpkin kits, our stamps are photopalmer. So when you're using a photopalmer stamp, you want a mat or something underneath you to give you that little bit of cushion when you stamp. We are needing memento ink and you're going to stamp three of these ice cream cones. Oh, or, sorry, ice cream cones. Popsicles. I have ice cream on my brain um, because my girls have are wanting ice cream. <laughs> Even though it's cold here today, they're still wanting ice cream. All right, there is our three pieces, and I'm just gonna put this away so I don't stick my hands in it. And I'm just going to move this off and pull that over. Okay, so we have three pieces. We are going to color all the stems, or the popsicle sticks, let's call those the popsicle sticks, with crumb cake. So I'm outlining in crumb cake. like that and then I'm going to go in the dark so one will be here and then I'm going to pull in my light oops make sure I got the right color nope that's the wrong color this is the right one it 
So I'm using Blackberry Bliss. So I kind of go back and forth, little circles. Okay, and then on my next one, I'm going to do one. So I'm kind of making like striped lot, like striped popsicles is what I'm making. can do them however you want and then I'm going to do another one with this blackberry bliss I'm gonna pull in the light so I'm just I always outline in dark and then I go over with my light and then I just kind of shade those colors back and forth okay so then I'm going to use the um, brand new blends for the light I'm um, sorry the fresh freesia this is one of the five new in colors so I'm going to use the dark and we're just gonna go quickly color these in and then I'm gonna go with my light If you have not tried our stamping blends, I highly recommend them. They are okay. They are uh, sorry, my neighbor was just at the window. They are alcohol markers, and they are meant for coloring and shading. So I'm just kind of outlining. So you could like how many how many remember when you were growing up? I actually think you can still get them. We eat more ice cream in this household than popsicles, but they were, I think they were called the rockets. They were like white, red, and blue. How fun would those be? Okay, so we have our three pieces that we've colored. So we're just gonna set those aside. And I'm just gonna do the stamping before we move to finishing our card. So I told you my die cut banner came from the actual paper pumpkin kit. Um, it, in the kit, you get a sheet of die cuts, so I, you're going to put your greeting there. And we're going to stamp the greeting, happy birthday. And I'm going to do it in the new beautiful fresh freesia color. So if you follow me, you knew I was a huge fan. It's funny, I, I don't, I'm not a fan of purples, but I have been using them a lot. Um, I was a huge fan of Purple Posy and Blackberry Bliss. Well, then Purple Posy is, is, is no longer, well, it's still current, but the product is sold out. So I tried the new Fresh Freesia with the Blackberry Bliss, and oh my God, I love that combination. So definitely we'll be using more of that. So I used a birthday greeting, happy birthday, and I just stamped it on that alternative card. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this in and what we're gonna do is we want to lay down our, and now they will just fit our popsicles. So what I did was, um, when I was creating my card, I actually laid this down and made sure I was happy with it. And then once I was happy with it, I popped those up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop up the first one because we want to make sure we have it centered. All right, and I want it to go there. 
this way on my card. And then I'm going to do these two next. I've been so concentrating on my card. I haven't seen that there's been any comments coming through. Hello to those who have joined me. I hope you are enjoying the project. Maybe you're going to want some ice cream or a popsicle after we're done, but it's a little chilly here tonight. I'm ready for this coldness to move out and bring in some warmth. I actually had, um, went for a walk after work because I'm really missing, well, one thing being at work, but I'm missing because when I'm at work, I have yard duty. So I'm outside like four times a day and I'm totally missing that with being at home online. So I had to go for a walk tonight. So, all right. So there is our pieces. We just, um, I just stamped them and put them down. We're going to, um, yep, we're going to hear this down. Oh, I hear see some comments. Um, Anne, Anne says, ice cream for ice cream. Yes, Anne, me too. Actually, Annie, what's actually, we call her Annie P. Annie P, we were talking about you at supper tonight, me and my girls. So, um, all good. We were just saying, we were talking about different people that were, in our Stampin' Up! lives and they were asking about you. So I was telling them where you were living and everything. And I think Jen said, oh, tomorrow's supposed to be much warmer. I cannot wait, Jen. I'm going to have, okay, so I'm just putting a white card in my center, in my card base. Um, I don't stamp my insides because sometimes I sell mine to a flower shop and she just likes blank incentives. So I just kind of leave them for like that. Okay, so we have that. And now we're going to bring in our, um, Reading. What did I do with my thing? <laughs> Annie B says, oh no. Jen says, great alternative. Thanks, Jen. All right, and then we're going to put our greeting down. So it looks like that. And then, we're going to come back in with our twine and make a little bow. I wanted to share with you, um, I also do with my team a, Mon a Tuesday night stamp and chat. So we have been stamping to chatting with, I gotta make my bow again. Um, every Tuesday I do a stamp and chat with my team and we have been chatting together um, since last July, I started it when we were all home during the first wave of this crazy pandemic. And at Christmas time, I decided to add in some stamping with them. So I stamp with you guys on Monday night and then I stamp with my team on Tuesday night. Um, and I'm excited to share uh, the what I'm making with them tomorrow night. You will recognize the layout so I think I have a couple of my team members on here tonight. So ladies, you're getting a sneak peek of the layout, but not what we're creating. So you'll be prepared for tomorrow. If you want to join Stampin' Up! Um, or want to know more about my team, we would love to have you. Uh, we have a great team, a fabulous group of ladies who support each other through the ups and the downs. And we craft together and it's a lot of fun. Um, they are my family. I will be a demonstrator for 14 years in May and I honestly love it every day. It just brings so much joy to my life. So if you want to know more about Stampin' Up! I'd love to talk to you about it. And Stampin' Up! has a fabulous new promotion coming out in May. Um, so I can't wait to share those details. Watch for that. So there you go. There is my alternative for this month's April Paper Pumpkin Kit called So Cool. What do you think? Does it make you want to go have ice cream or a popsicle right now? And then I'll show you. Here is my one eye sample I created on the weekend. How fun is that? So easy layout. You could totally switch this up um, with the three squares. You could do anything. You could do flowers. You name it. You could put something in it. I was. Um, I always tell my team when I'm scrolling through Pinterest or. Um, you know, the social media or Instagram, and I see a card that I like, I always save it because I think, wow, I really like that layout. And then when I sit down to create, I go through my camera roll 
to see what layouts I've saved. And this was one of the ones I saved. This one was layout was from Amy K. She's a demonstrator in the U, uh, US and she actually used the hay chicks. It was so cute. But I really just liked the three blocks and I thought, wow, that would make a great card for this month's paper pumpkin. Um, yes, Jen, totally. Long life friends from Stampin' Up. I always say um, I miss, I miss, I have met some of my best friends through Stampin' Up and if it wasn't for paper, ink, and stamps, we never would have met. Uh, I have one of my good friends is out west. I have like many friends across the pond in Australia and the UK and I think, wow, I would never have met you if it wasn't for Stampin' Up, which is so amazing. Um, Annie, Ann says, we call her Ann, but it's Annie P in my eyes. Um, Annie P says, I miss going to Utah. Oh my God. And yes, us too. We were talking about that the other day, how we miss those weekly, um, those yearly trips. I was on, um, a call the other day with, uh, or on, at on tour with Brian Pilling and I said, we need to bring those back. We're missing them. So hopefully Stampin' Up! will one day. Yes. Yes. The lifelong friends you get is just priceless. That's just worth all joining in my eyes. So I can't wait. So yeah, so thank you so much for joining me tonight. If you want to know more about Paper Pumpkin, um, you could head over to my blog or you could head to my online store. You can buy the Paper Pumpkins in a monthly subscription, a three month, a six month or a 12 month. And like I said, it's a surprise through, it's a surprise each month through your mail. Um, and you always get a sneak peek. So if you're something, a kit you didn't want, you could always skip that month and then go to the next month. So I'm excited. Next month has a baseball theme. So if you have baseball players in your family, you might want to stack up on that one. And there's even like a secret surprise in the kit, like a, a fun, a fun add on. So that will be fun. So thank you so much for joining me tonight in our Monday night crafting. I've really enjoyed my time stamping with you and I hope you've enjoyed our project and we will see you next Monday night for a crafting session. Um, not sure what we'll be making, uh, maybe sneak peek of some new products. Uh, so yeah, I thank you and I can't wait. I, thanks for, I thank you for joining me tonight and I look forward to stamping with you next Monday night. So have a great night, everyone. It's supposed to be a great week, sunshine. So we'll be in our gardens, outside on our decks, or going for walks. And I just wish you a great week. If you have any questions regarding Stampin' Up!, you know where to find me. I'd love to help you out with some of your projects. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.